God in Olofua. Um, I came into Qatar a few weeks ago. Um, it's a quiet experience for me because getting to know the people around there and also mixing with different clubs and also the kids, they are lovely. So I'm training absolute um, club, athlete sports and also playing a tournament currently right now. I'm in the semi-finals in my singles and also in my mixed doubles I'm in the quarterfinals. I'm an Olympian. I played at uh, Tokyo 2020 and also ranked uh, 52 in the world in main doubles, 150 in the singles event and also I'm also an active player. Thank you very much. So what, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in Nigeria, we don't know about badminton, okay? Where, where is this the latest development of badminton? Uh, there's better development in Nigeria, at least now with our current federation. So they are working on grassroots level to make sure we get good, good facilities and good upcoming athletes to represent the country. So they have a lot of things put in place for the up... Um, up um, coming um, 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 athletes, which is the grassroots, because now we have taken badminton to schools, so that people that don't know about badminton can be able to like come out to participate and also learn about the game. And we do have some tournament like under 15, under 17, just to improve the game and also probably slide to make people to know about the game more. You never started with football. No, I started with martial arts. I was doing martial arts 20, 2014 and um, 2009. So my, I, when I was doing martial arts, I was actually a good player then. But then I was still small. I don't know what is it like to represent the state. So growing up 2010, so I was introduced to badminton. The game is quite interesting. Watching it from outside, seeing people playing it is fun. When you're watching it from outside, you see people play. So I picked the interest from there. So I approached the coach. I told him I want to learn. The first question he asked me, could I be able to cope with my martial art and the karate? I said yes. Since then, I just had to like leave the martial art and go straight to badminton. Which city are you from? I play in Lagos. Lagos. Yeah, Lagos. And uh, you have never, never played football in your life. I've played football. I'm also a good footballer. So I play football. I have a club, which I play, um, Diamond Star. I also play good football as well. But since I fell in love with badminton, I had to like focus in one. Mm. But I still play good football as well. So what brings you to Qatar? Ah, uh, I got a offer from Absolute Sports to also play for the club, represent the club, and also train the upcoming kids to be the best in the future. Okay. Are you at the 2022 World Cup, uh, you, would you be watching uh, if, if Nigeria qualifies, would you be coming and watch the games? Okay, sure. Would you be going for the matches? Sure, I will. Already booked your tickets? Not yet, not yet, but I will. I will definitely want to go and watch mm. my people playing the forward cup here. Okay. Because it's quite amazing and it's quite going to be a good experience watching watching our own players playing live here in Qatar. And how old are you? I'm 23. 